So, Yevgeny Prigozhin is dead. Or is he? Let's talk about it. Okay, so, Yevgeny Prigozhin. <laughs> and yes, I practiced that name about a dozen times. I, I still probably got it wrong. But by all measures, uh, this man was a monster. And he was a very effective tool of Vladimir Putin over the years. So a couple of days ago, apparently, uh, the plane that he was on uh, went down and crashed and he was on it. Or was he? The crash happened just outside Moscow. The reason why I wonder whether he was really on that plane is that back in 2019, he was supposed to have been on a plane in the Congo that went down. So this isn't the first time that Yegevny has died in a plane crash. So, of course, everyone is speculating. Uh, was this an actual accident or was it shot down? Because Yegevny, I'm going to call him Yegi, okay? <laughs> so Yegi apparently has a long list of enemies, and Putin is probably at the very, very top. Why? Because a few weeks ago, he launched a mutiny, and his forces were marching toward Moscow. But anyway, let's back up a little bit and let's talk about who this guy was. Kind of an interesting backstory. So this guy started out by selling hot dogs in the streets. Then eventually, he bought shares in a large supermarket chain. And then eventually, he became a caterer to the Kremlin. This is how he meets Putin. And it's kind of an incredible story. So this guy was a caterer. <laughs> the story goes that he had kind of a mouth on him. And Putin liked that in the guy. So Putin becomes friend with Prigozhin. So before too long, uh, Putin asked Prigozhin to put together a special force called the Wagner Group. I would like to find out what the story is with that name, the Wagner Group, but it doesn't sound very Russian. So if any of you know whether there's any spe special significance to that name, could you let me know in the comment section below? So the Wagner Group is responsible for all sorts of atrocities. That group has a reputation for being brutal, but they also operated separately from the actual Russian military. But they were used in military operations, both official and unofficial, okay? Now, most recently, Yegi became famous for turning against Putin. And before he marched on Moscow, he actually put out a video criticizing the Russian army. Let's take a look at the video. Okay, so there has been a falling out between Prigozhin and Putin. Best pals. I mean, I don't know what this guy is thinking, taking on Putin as an enemy. So Prigi had taken his forces and started marching toward Moscow in protest of the way that he and his men had been treated by the Russian military. But they did not go all the way into Moscow. About 100 miles out, they stopped. And I guess it was negotiated that Yegi would go to Belarus. And then lately, we've been seeing videos of Yegi in Africa. Apparently, he's doing work in Africa. I mean, Yegi and his Wagner group is basically a group of mercenaries for hire. Now, when you have Putin as your number one enemy, I don't know why you get on a plane and head to Moscow. But, you know, but what do I know? Officially, uh, Russia isn't saying anything about this incident, but it's widely known that this event took place. I'll tell you what, though, in Ukraine, they are celebrating. They hate this guy because he is a monster. The stories of what he did to captured Ukrainian troops are unspeakable. I'm not going to mention them here, but he is well known in Ukraine as being. So they're popping champagne corks. They're celebrating in Kiev. And by the way, did you know that today, coincidentally, is Ukrainian Independence Day? So let's see whether Russia lobs a few missiles into Kiev today during the celebrations. So I wanted to bring this up to ask Rob what he thinks about how this will affect, you know, the military effort in Ukraine. Because the Wagner Group was intimately involved in a lot of the important battles, particularly Bakhmut, where they did particularly heinous things. So now that they've lost the Wagner Group, uh, does this change uh, the shape of the battlefield at all? Okay, that's my little report for the day. Uh, Yevgeny Prigozhin, he's dead, or is he dead? <laughs> Ed Anderson, live from Minnesota, signing out. Copy that. Copy that.